Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and it is time for a fun fall card today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Mini Tag Dies 3, their pumpkin picking stamp set, their pumpkin spice season stamp set along, and I did color that previously with Copic markers, and I'm using Echo Park's, uh, what's that called, Happy Fall 6 inch pad. So first I'm starting out with a one inch strip of paper from that pad, and this is Paper Tray Ink craft cardstock cut at 4.25 by 11 scored at five and a half inches with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder um, to make an A2 size vertical card. Now I'm adding a four by five and a quarter inch piece of white paper to the inside. I believe that was Nina Solar White 80 pound. Next I'm going to add the one inch strip from that Echo Park Happy Fall six inch pad. I love making fall cards. Fall and Halloween are I think my favorite. I'm going to trim off that overhang with a pair of scissors there. And now I'm going to stamp a sentiment on the inside. So I'm pulling out that pumpkin picking stamp set and I'm going to stamp a sentiment that says pumpkin kisses. Ooh, and of course this is a really small little window that I'm that I am doing the voiceover with, so I can't really see what it says. Pumpkin Kiss is something. So I'm gonna be stamping with Versafine Claire Nocturne Ink. You saw that I used my one of my misty corners to line up my sentiment. Um, yeah, and Harvest Wishes, that's what it says. Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes. Now I'm going to use some um, post-it tape just to cover up my sentiment so it doesn't mess up the front of my card or the, 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 the inside of my card flap. Next, I'm going to add paper from that same six inch pad. This is one, one eighth of an inch smaller than the A2 size card front, and I'm adding that on. It's a really nice little gingham check. There we go. Now I'm going to add like a, I don't know, I guess this is a two and a quarter inch strip, I think, of paper from that same pad. And um, it is like a quarter of an inch less so that is like one eighth of an inch less this is like a maybe a quarter of an inch less than an h size card front so like maybe i don't know five and you know five and a quarter inches long next i added on you saw that i added on that mini tag die and that was cut out of paper from that same echo park six inch pad and i added it with some with the same um, atg tape now i'm lining up another sentiment there we go, it says Hello Fall. And I'm going to stamp that on the front. Now I did not, I don't have a list of the Copic colors that I used to color in these pumpkins. I thought I had them written down somewhere. I colored this a long time ago. I'm trying to use up images that, I have, that I've had colored. And of course I don't have it. So I'm sorry guys, normally I list all my Copic markers, but I did use Copic markers for this one. So, and I cut it out using my brother Scan and Cut with a 0.4 border. And I'm going to pop that up with some Stampin' Up Dimensionals. There we go, pulling off all the backings. And then I'll add that to the front of my card with my reverse tweezers. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I just, I, I love the colors of this card. Now on the inside, I ended up using our fall banner dies. I don't know if I showed you that in the beginning, but I cut out Paper Tray Ink Honey Nut cardstock with the fall banners. And I'm just going to use it as is kind of over top of that one inch strip that I had on the inside. There we go, using my Barely Art glue. I do weight it down a bit, there we go. And I'm going to add a few other little die cuts from that fall banner dies from Jada Blossom. Those were cut out of Americana paper tray ink cardstock. Oops, I'm just gonna trim off that overhang of that little banner die, there we go. Now I've got googly eyes. These are Studio Katia googly eyes and they're three millimeter, super tiny. I'm going to add a few to these little pumpkins just for fun. I have it in one of those triangle trays um, to help you know flip them all over. That, that's from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm just going to use my Barely Art glue and my Studio Katia embellishment wand here to pick them up and I'll add my little eyeballs to my pumpkins. So this was a really simple card. You know, if your image is colored, you can, crank out these faster than anything, right? So I'm just adding on those little googly eyes first. There we go. And I re realized one of my googly eyes kind of looked weird. So I'm gonna grab another one. 
and then I will add it to my card front. And isn't that cute? I just think it turned out adorable. Now I'm going to add on some of these little leaves that, that I cut out of Americana and Honey Nut from Paper Tray Ink. And then the light orange ones have a pattern and that is from the Echo Park Happy Fall 6 inch pad. So I'm just adding a few. And I do weight down those eyeballs <laughs> just to make sure they're stuck really well. Next right now, I'm pulling out Nouveau Vintage Drops in Post Box Red. Now these dry, um, you know, kind of matte and um, it just matched the kind of burgundy-ish color that I was going for on the front of this card. So I'm going to add a few little droplets and then I will set it aside to dry. Remember, you want them to be nice and warm and, and your nozzle cleared. So that is also, thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, be inspired by the team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thanks for watching. Bye everybody.